If you mass dragon attack like this in Clan Wars, your clan leader is gonna be like... Hey guys, this is Andre and welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. Today I'm going to be showing you the do's and don'ts of attacking with mass dragons and how to funnel properly. There are two different ways that you can funnel your dragons into the center of the base. You can use just one dragons or two one dragon and your barb king. The purpose of funneling like this is to take out the outer buildings so that your troops do not stray from going into the center of the base. But first things first, as you always know, with mass dragons at Town Hall level 7, you have three lightning spells and you take out the air defense that is farthest away from the point that you are attacking. I personally like to take out the air defense that is behind the Town Hall and opposite of the air sweeper so that that doesn't bother any of my dragons. Now for phase two. I put down my king first because he does not do as much dam damage as a dragon. I put him in the top left and then another dragon in the bottom right corner. Then two dragons to take out those archer towers that are distracted by both my dragon and my king. Then I funnel all of the rest of my dragons in the center of the base now that there's no more buildings on the outside. The only thing that's keeping them from those air defense are those clan castle troops. But after both of those air defenses go down, those were the first things that they took out in the center of the base. So at this point, I have nothing stopping my dragons. And at this point, it's going to be a 100% 3 star, no matter what. One thing to notice is usually with these more spread out bases, it's a little bit harder for mass dragons because they have so much stuff that they have to take care of, plus they have to fly around and they're a little slow. So air defenses can take them out pretty easily if they go around them. So I'm going to be showing you a couple of replays with both very spread out bases and ones that are a little bit more clumped inside the center of the base. But for this next attack, I want to show you what you do not want to do with mass dragons. So for this attack, I want you to notice a couple of things that this player could have done a little bit differently to make sure he got a 3 star. So the first thing he could have done is place his lightning spells a little bit more closer to that archer tower so that that archer tower is taking out as well as that air defense. Also make sure to take note on how much that air defense at the bottom left was damaged. It only took off a little bit of a sliver from those three lightning spells. Since Nick Zito does not have a Barb King, he could use two dragons at the top right and the bottom left at that Dark Elixir storage to clear a nice path and funnel all of his dragons into the center of the base instead of, as you can tell, sweeping all the way around where those air defenses are just taking out all of his dragons. So that's the second thing you need to do. You need to make sure you create a very, very good funnel for your dragons. One thing I would suggest is actually checking how far air defense and archer towers can hit your dragons. As you'll see in the next clip, when I attack the same player, that I'm able to drop my dragon right on top of that dark elixir storage and not be attacked by that archer tower. So as you can see, this is me attacking the player that we just saw that was defending. Um, it's a town hall level 8 and this will be a cleanup attack. Our second attack in our clan is a cleanup attack. So I drop my king down here because I know the only thing that can hit him is that mortar, and that mortar is not going to do a lot of damage. As you can tell here, I am placing my lightning spell closer to that archer tower, and it actually takes out the archer tower and three, about one-fourth of the actual air defense on the bottom left, which is a significant amount more than the other player that actually used the lightning spells a little bit farther. I personally like to use my king in the beginning to help create a funnel because I feel that the king doesn't do basically anything throughout the whole entire raid if you use him in the middle or the end of an all dragon raid attack. So I like to use him to help create a funnel. I put another dragon down at that dark elixir storage which I checked beforehand and made sure that that archer tower could not shoot my dragon. Now that my king is actually taking damage from that archer tower, the dragon at the bottom will not be targeted until my king is out of range. So at this point you want to drop in your clan castle troops, whether it be hogs to take out an air defense, a dragon, or one of my favorites, balloons, and then just mass spam the rest of your dragons in. As you can tell, 
I was counting on those CC troops to help pull all my dragons in, and then six of my dragons go directly into the middle and take out that air defense in an instant. So the only thing that is stopping them is that other air defense at the bottom left, and at this point it is looking very good. I have most of my dragons in the middle, and I have one dragon up top and two dragons down below cleaning up those buildings, but since this air defense is going down right now, and I still have about eight dragons up, including the one in my clan castle, it is looking very good for me right now. There's almost no way that I would not be able to three-star this. By the way, one thing I want to point out about the attack earlier that one of my clanmates did, it's not a bad attack at all. It took me a while to get dragon funneling down, and this is exactly why I'm making the video. I'm not saying I'm a pro at this, I've just done this a lot, and I feel like I have enough experience now to help other players, like help you guys out there. But it's all about watching other people attack, watching yourself attack, watching yourself do mistakes, and learning from those mistakes. You learn from those mistakes and you progress from those mistakes and it helps you become a better player, you attack better, and you get more loot. So that is honestly one thing I love about my clan. They are so supportive and if you mess up on attack, they're not going to be really mad at you. They're just going to help you progress and tell you what they would have done to help improve that. So in this next example, I'm going to give you a recap of what you should do, how you should do it, and a little bit more tips just in between. As always, you want to start off by lightning the air defense that is farthest away from your attacking point and is the opposite side of the town hall because it's going to take a long time for your dragons to get through the town hall. Secondly, you're going to want to create a great funnel. I like to use my king. You could always use a dragon if you don't have a king or your king isn't that max of a level. And you want to look at the actual base design and see what kind of compartments they have. As you can tell, there was two compartments basically, and then you can funnel all the rest of your dragons in from the top, and they would go straight towards that air defense since there is nothing else that they would actually go for. For. Personally, I like having four balloons that are maxed out in my clan castle, but you could always have a dragon or if there's an air defense that is really close by that you absolutely 100% know that those hogs can get to it and destroy it for you, then I would do that too because that would mean that there is no possible way that you'd lose since they have no air defense. But as you can see, my dragons are sweeping through this base and at this point there is nothing stopping them. They're taking out the archer towers, and the balloons are actually helping a lot with the defenses. The dragons are a great tank for the balloons, and if you send in the balloons right after, you just mass spam all of your dragons. They go for the air defense and then all of the other defenses, which help a ton because dragons actually go for everything, whereas those max balloons go straight for the defenses like those archer towers and help clean up this raid so perfectly to get that three star. But that's it for the video guys. Hopefully you learned a lot from this. Make sure to leave a comment down below if you have any questions, like, and make sure to be subscribed. Peace.